head, please. Have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something to suit you. Thank you. Take care. Good day. Can I interest you in some of my wares? A fine transaction. Come back. Take care. Coin for an old beggar. Me chilled. Thank you. Blessings of Anu upon ye. Any friend of the society? Can I interest you in some of my wares? Another... Bye! It is good. Have a look around. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. You drive a hard bar. An excellent. Return soon. Hello again. Let's do business. Do that. You need to make a better offer. 
No deal. You drive a hard bargain. Thank you. You too. A pleasure to... May I interest you in some of my fine wares? Good day. Yes, what can I do? Only quality goods for sale here. What can I interest you in? Goodbye.
stay away. Go away. I know what you're here for. Just... Vampires? Why would you ask me about those filthy creatures? That bastard. Seri Dodez accused me of being a vampire. Me? Ha! Ah, he's the one who is the vampire. I can't believe him. I knew he would try and pin this on me. If only I could get my hands on him. I... I'm sorry. I've been hiding up here in this cabin and I forgot my manners. Try and understand. I loved her. I'd never harm her. Ralphina was the love of my life. For the first time I had a positive outlook. Then I saw Seridor looking at her with those coveting eyes. When she started taking walks in the garden at night I became suspicious. I didn't want to lose her. I should have trusted her. Oh, Ralphina. Yes, I must let someone else know. That night I decided to follow Ralphina. I wanted to see where she went on her walks. When she stopped in the garden and Serida stepped out of the shadows, my heart sank. Then suddenly he was upon her. She seemed entranced as he wrapped his arms around her and sank his teeth into her neck. I burst from my hiding place and attacked Seridor. He became startled for a moment and tossed Ralphina aside. She fell to the ground, and I heard a sickening crack as her head struck a stone. I was no equal to Seridor. He knocked me down in one quick movement. As I lost consciousness, I saw him laugh and then run away. Now I know why he didn't finish me that night. He wanted to cast suspicions on me instead. I panicked. By the time I awoke, her body was gone. I knew Seridor was a respected member of the community. They'd never believe he was a vampire. I retreated here to the cabin to collect my thoughts. I suppose you must decide what to do. Are you going to kill me? Thank you. I'm happy you gave me a chance to explain. I know about Seridor and his secret order. What better way for a vampire to hide than to pretend he hunts them? You may want to speak to Fintius at the first edition bookshop in the market district of the city. I know he goes there occasionally. I doubt that he's told Gillen and Greythroat anything, but you could always try. As you know, the vampire can't remain in sunlight. I'd wager that you'll never see Seridor outside during that time of day. Remain leery of Seridor. He's much more cunning than you may suspect. Yes? I'm not really at liberty to discuss my customers with strangers. I've already said too much. I'm sure you understand hey, what you're going to say. Handsomely done. A pleasure. How nice. How nice. See? That will get you something. 
Sarader? He comes in from time to time. Usually it's when he's out shopping. He always comes in with a large amount of travel food in his bag. Then sometimes he buys a few books. I asked him once about it, and he said that he goes out of the city on business trips. I think I overheard him once mention Memorial Cave to another patron of mine, but he never talked to me about it directly. Yes, it's outside of the Imperial City. I heard it's a place where many of the heroes from past wars are buried. Sort of a subterranean graveyard. I just assumed Sarader had a relative that died and is buried there. Not many people go out there anymore as the route is dangerous. But Sarader is a stubborn one. <laughs> Takes integrity for a man to risk his own life to honor the fallen. I admire him for that. I looked it up once in an old atlas I had in stock. Here, let me mark it on your map. Good day.
jumpy.
I hope you're here to bring me good news. He's dead? Oh, thank goodness. I feared I'd never be able to leave here, or worse, that he would come for me. I can finally return home. The ironic thing is that I think the order of the virtuous blood should continue its work. Perhaps I'll speak to the others. Yes, I think that the order will live on. Give me time to make arrangements and meet me in Seridor's basement. I'll see you in the Imperial City. Please, I've... Horrid creatures. Let us never speak of that abomin... The Grey Fox sounds like a danger... I'll see you in the Imperial City. Hello again, my friend. It's so good to see you again. I've spent a good deal of time speaking with Gillen and Greythroat. They agree that the Order should live on. Not only that, but we'd like to make you an honorary member. If you're ever in need of our services, we'd be happy to provide them for you. In addition, we'd like to reward you with this enchanted ring. Use it well in the fight. At least there are a few less vampires in the world now. Well done but there are more of these creatures that still roam Cyrodiil. If any of our books can help you in the cause of destroying more, you're welcome to read them. Since you're an honorary member of the Order, if you bring back proof you've slain a vampire, we'd be glad to compensate you. Bring back the vampire dust from their remains. That should be proof enough. Excellent. Another vampire has been slain. Here's your reward. Excellent. Another... Excellent. 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 Return to me when you have slain another. May the sunlight always safeguard your path. 